Good morning everyone, Sins Vengeance here and welcome back to Fallen Legion, Sins of an Empire. When we last left off, we entered the Lost City and we kicked some ass and we also defeated our own father because that happened and now we are at the Lost City Chasm so without further ado, let's go and let's hope that the end is near. Ooh, yeah, we, we got this guy, Osmond, the Royal Claw. A lot of speed, not a lot of health, good strength, but his defense sucks ass. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Phantom Curse is nice. Infernal Judgment, and then the Restless Slayer Rifle with Mirage Magnum. Let's see what this Osmond fella can do in case you think my face cam is a bit dark i am recording this uh, in the evening because yeah the surprise sister gave a rising speech at this week's game for a massive standing ovation and monish i guess several priests came Ooh. observe it Okay. Okay, shit's going down already. Infernal judgment. What? Okay. Mirage Magnum. I didn't know Osmond was so weak. It's a good skill though. I like it. Come on. They're down? That's good. I think that infernal judgment is quite nice. Cutscene? What is that? I don't know. This is our voicing concern over the number of people moving to the capital. Increase patrols to ensure safety. Come on. Come on, you can do this. Bye, bitch! That was easy. I don't like Mirage Magnum anymore. Come on, I fr Boom, 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 boom. That's a pretty decent skill to have. I'm glad I... That skill is... Magnum. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Come on. Bye. 
Don't have to do anything at all, because he's dead. Okay, next stage, or at least... While you may not bear a burnish heart, fought for our people to keep their homes. We will not forget your mercy, Octavia. Please take these with you. You received a Winchester regular block restores mana tribute. Yeah! The chance of receiving a rare gemstone increased! Awesome! That means we made a good decision! We made some good decisions. The music is happy though. What the fuck are you? Cassandra Bishop. As a devout supporter of Cassandra, I am honored to bequeath this relic to you. We can now create gemstones infused with the Cassandra's Lunacy spell. This spell will sap all of your strength, but Cassandra's Lunacy allows you to summon Cassandra herself to the battlefield. <clears throat> okay, that's not good. Good and not good, I guess. Oh ho, I thought we were a bit further away. Quite a sight, isn't it? What is it? I've told you, I don't have eyes, remember? Well, I do have a mouth. There's still a book. Uh, oh no, that can be. Oh yes, and while I suppose I could probably lead you a little further down the garden path with some clever lie about why there is a giant mouth just below your capital, that honestly just sounds like a lot of work. You've worked out wonderfully, and I confess I really like you, so you might as well know the truth for once. Asshole, you were in fact correct. This city is Tyre, because why not? Or rather, it was, once, very, very long ago. I led its leaders into civil war and its citizens into revolt, and once the entire nation boiled and bubbled with misery, fear, greed and desperation, I cracked it open, I forgot to put away the sound, and desperation I cracked it open like an egg and swallowed it all. Why? Have you already forgotten what I've told you about souls? Miserable souls are tasty souls. No, no, I mean, why an entire nation? All those people? Oh, Cecil, surely you must have figured that one out by now. What is the one thing I've wanted since the moment we met? I'm hungry, my dear. I'm always hungry. Very, very hungry. And once I start eating, well, I confess I just can't stop. That's why you tricked my father into building your machine? <laughs> the machine is pointless. The souls it can harvest would be a drop in the proverbial bucket. It was there to distract your father and to twist his soul into something horrible. It's important to make sure some meals are for your own enjoyment, not just sustenance. Can we burn the book? Can we burn him? You ate father's soul too? I promise. I will shred you to pieces, you vile monster! If you needed a giant mouth and a statement of intent in order to put that one together, you're not as clever as I thought. I will put an end to this now. Cassandra Scoil! Ooh, that tickles! Now, where was I? I seem to have lost my page. Well, I put a great deal of time and energy into chipping away at your little empire, stirring the pot, if you will which I must say is a metaphor that works on several levels in this particular case. So Legatus Lander wasn't the real enemy, it was his grimoire. In fact, Phenumia is in such a sorry state that I need only pull one more brick from her foundation. One young, royal, broken, delicious brick that I've been seasoning for quite some time. You mean me? Oh yes, my dear. Now it's time for a hors d'oeuvre. No, please, don't kill me! Oh, Cecil, you used to have such fire, such bravery. It made breaking so, so much more delightful. Not difficult, per perhaps, but fun. Ha ha ha, run if you wish. I know you'll be back. Face me or not, either way, only death awaits you. Okay. Okay. That happened. Grimoire really is being an asshole. 
Tarquinius Citadel. Let's go. Um, so we need, and then someone with a good defense. Hmm. Ah. Vultures, the wyvern thing, and then Osmond in the back. Yes, I think that is quite the team we've got now. We got a good front defense with two tanks. My ruse had worked. The grimoire believed me beaten. It's miserable plaything. I had hoped it would reveal something, some weakness. But nothing it had said seemed useful. Nonetheless, if my death was what the Grimoire needed to finally topple my country, I would make certain it did not have it. Alone. Charquinius Citadel. Replacement for the... Broken up. My fist fight is broken out on the floor of the council chamber. Arrest. Yes. Flooding has destroyed essential farm and crypto foods. Oh no. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Assist. Assist. We must assist our citizens. The council will soon be forced to vote on the Sempronian land distribution bill. How will you direct our allies? Yeah, but what, who are my allies? I don't know. Defeat? I don't know. What did I do? I, I'm not against this land redistribution. Oh yeah. Okay, come on. I want the infernal judgment. Ah. Why, bitches? Come on. Oh, come on. Infernal judgment and heal up. Okay, that stage is done. I don't want a wyvern fang. Uh. Come on, I... Come on! What the hell is going on? Shit! Come on! Come on! Hey, that's my skill! Can do this. Come on. Why isn't my thing firing? Is he attacking me when I am? I don't get this game. Oh, now you hit, uh, but I don't want that, I want my Infernal Judgment, I want Osmond. He was on the death blow, come on, that's bull crap.
Come on. I don't know what the hell was happening here. I've lost all my bonuses. Octavia, we are using Storm Institute to imbue soldiers with the strength of a direwolf. Our experiment backfired. Be on the lookout for direwolves with unnatural abilities near Porion. Well, that's your, that's your own fault. Go, f go fix it yourself. Lander? You! You! I thought we killed him. Apparently we didn't kill him. It doesn't matter. Oh, but there's something over there. Torian. Let's take a quick gander there. What I didn't get is I was certain my Osmond, Osmond um, got in the, uh, whatchamacallit, the death blow and it didn't fire his infernal judgment. I would have never imagined that Octavia would show the Burnwish bloodline such mercy. I smelled the tarnished armor and broken weapons to create this. May this bless you in battle, Octavia. You can now acquire Thea's Ankh during battles. Yay, whatever that does. Why are you still carrying that book, by the way, Cecil? It betrayed you. <clears throat> the Legate has promised to address the plight of Fenunia citizens and fallen him in battle. But it was you who was truly concerned about the people's lives instead of the throne. What our captain is trying to say is we regret joining the Legates and want to fight for you and for the people of Fenumia. A touching speech, but the battle with your former leech has only begun. The Legates pierced the capital's walls and my legion may be hesitant to welcome those that spilled their brother's blood on the battlefield. You can serve the Empire best by keeping Porion under your aegis. Yes, Octavia, we will ensure the safety of all those inside Porion. May this bless you in battle, Octavia. All exemplars can now use the block effective this 80% tribute. Awesome. No idea how that works. Bless you for letting us keep our homes within the capital walls. I know this isn't much, and please have this heirloom. You received the Winchester regular block resource mana tribute, awesome! I saw Scipia sempronously pouring with a band of supporters. In her last speech, Scipia said she would ally with Princess Melissa Domitianus and challenge the Council of Princes. Ah, oh, crap. One final, guys. What do you have to say? Hordes of beasts as well as the Legacy Legion await us on the road towards the capital. We're ready to head out on your command. Hey! Then head out! Why the fuck am I in the Serpentine Woods? Why? That was bullcrap. But it happened. Orion Tarquinius Citadel. Let's take a look there. But I think that's a cutscene too because, well, yeah. We didn't get the exemplar selection screen. Fragmented souls. Oh, yeah. Lender. What do you have to say for yourself? You! You! Wait. Where is your brother? Your squire, did they finally see you for the traitor you are and abandon you, or did you kill them when they outlived their usefulness? They... Bryn is dead. Whatever sent us here killed him. Additionally, he was scheming to, shall we say, encourage my death and take my throne. Antoinette is a traitor and a villain. She sought to use me to destroy the station and all its people. I... I fear she may have succeeded. Ha! Huh. We may despise one another, but this is no laughing matter. You misunderstand. In prison, we both lost people we cared for today. Maurice. As I explained to the Legatus what the Grimoire had revealed to me, I watched an expression of grim resignation take hold of his features. Legatus. 
That's how you pronounce it. I've been pronouncing it wrong the entire playthrough. Well then. Then Antoinette Damper was telling the truth. I knew the thing was evil from the very start. To think that thing was Morton, who would have possibly believed that the destroyer of Tyre not only yet existed, but did so in the form of a book. Morton, didn't I read that in the very first episode? Well, it is quite real, and very soon it's going to swallow us all. I, I, I try to stop it, but the creature cannot be hurt. I think perhaps that infernal machine is the key. No, it was merely a destruction for my father. It means nothing. How do you know? The grimoire said as much. Oh, that deceptive book was lying! Yes, Antoinette explained that the machine functions as an anchor. These things you and I can summon. Exemplars? Yes, if you say so. The power of the grimoire pulls us deeper into the void and pulls it deeper into us. It's unclear, according to Antoinette. But these pages I took have given me that ability, and even though you have parted ways with that book, I suspect that it has kept you deep in the void for so long that you can still reach in and draw out exemplars. Yes, I still can. It appears I can summon them without, uh, without conscious thought. But if the grimoire is actually Morton, then it must also be a creature of that other realm, and it cannot remain here without great exertion, which is the purpose of the machine. It holds the grimoire here, halfway between the void and the world. This is how it can draw such power. Ooh. If the anchor were cut, it would be set adrift, to float up into our world, or back to whence it came. Either its power would dwindle, or it would disappear. Then we must destroy the machine. I would agree, but I mentioned Antoinette had betrayed me, yet I neglected to mention that she had fused herself with the machine and is drawing power from it. Well, you're not gonna make us. You're not gonna make it easy for us, are ya? Tremendous amounts of power. I fought her once, and I don't believe I would survive another encounter, though I'm sure she would. I suspected you were a weakling as well as a traitor and a coward, and now I know. If I must do everything, I will. You are in no position to lecture me. Our nation would not be on the brink of destruction had you not allied yourself with the destroyer of Tyre. Stop! Yes, perhaps I have done wrong, but that monster's plan was far larger than either of us. We were both pawns in the sick game. We clearly have unfinished business, you and I. There will be time to resolve it, with blood, but now is not that time. If the machine is not destroyed, if the grimoire is not stopped, then all that we argue over now will be nothing but ash. You know she's right! That does not change the fact that, much as it shames me, I cannot destroy Antoinette and the machine. Neither, I suspect, can you. I think I may know how you can defeat her, or at least weaken her. I warn you, though, it will not be... pleasant. If you had to do the same, would you hesitate if it meant destroying the grimoire? Not for a moment. Then you know my answer. The grimoire consumes souls by drawing them out of their bodies. I, I have felt it happen. The machine is bringing with souls it har has harvested, like a full goblet. As Antoinette drinks from the goblet, she gains the power you've seen. I believe I can show you how to snatch the goblet from her lips, bring it to yours and drain it. You... You are suggesting I devour souls. Human souls. Setting aside the horror of the very idea, can you know this will work? Ooh, excuse me. Soul monsters spend years before they even touch a soul, and would never dream of ingesting one. And even if this mad plan of your, of yours uh, bears fruit, and I manage to rid us of this anchor, how will you destroy the grimoire? This will weaken the beast at best. How does one kill a book? Could we choke it with the souls I will have drained? I doubt I could choke it. The creature loves its souls, and once it begins to feed it can't. By Cassandra, could that be it? By all means, enlighten me. I cannot choke the grim choke 
the grimoire with a surfeit of souls, but I believe I will need only one to make it gag. I will teach you how to weaken Antoinette and her machine, but I will need something from you in return. And what, pray tell, might that be? A small piece of your soul. Damn! Going straight to business. Daffet's blood. You said I knew your answer. And you do. The deal is struck. So, wait, what? We're gonna wo work together after all that's happened? I doubt anyone is ever ready for this sort of undertaking, but I am ready as I can hope to be. So we're gonna work together even though we were at war for like, this entire time. I, I dig it! Nice plot twist. Nice plot twist, uh, actually. Um, yeah, I'll keep this with you. Its power is weak, but it will allow us to communicate. I will signal you when I have destroyed the machine. Once I do, destroy the grimoire and end this nightmare. I will, or I will perish in the attempt. A sentiment I share, but do not think I have forgotten your transgressions. Once we have defeated these foes, we will resolve our own quarrel. On that you have my unqualified agreement. Good luck, Octavia. If at all possible, I would prefer to make my soul whole again once this is finished. I very much doubt that either of us will emerge from this crucible with our souls intact. So, in Flames of Rebellion we're gonna kill Antoinette then? Because the... Gateway to the Void. Because they... Um, the stories are like parallel to each other but then yeah of course you have these different things that happen like Antoinette betrays him so that's what gonna that's what happens in Flames of Rebellion then the other game anyway um, I see that I have recorded for around 28 minutes in total um, well, total there, not total uh, amount of video that there is. So I'm gonna save my data. Um, take a look at more. This ring. Woo! Sure. I'm a bit. Um, I'm a bit. Well. Wait, where's Morton? Exemplars, Princess. There's nothing on. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Um. Anyway, so uh, next up, we're gonna do Gateway to the Void, and that other thing there, da down from the Gateway to the Void. So I uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.